So it's a red wine that has a completely mature color. Uh, when we talk about vintage guitars, this color would be called Sunburst, and I think it's a nice name. It, uh, so nothing blue or red left in there, more towards the orange-brown Sunburst, I like it. Nose also has showing a, a certain evolution here. We have um, more on the dried fruit, uh, some fig, date, prune, with uh, dry spices. And some sweet notes, almost like, yeah, that dried sweet or almost candied fruit. Tobacco, cedar wood, leather. So quite complex with a good evolution. Palate is um, pretty much mid-weight here. It's a wine that has a quite, um, I think the tannins were rather present in its youth, but um, they're, they're now well integrated. We still have a, a rather high acidity and uh, the fruit has uh, mellowed as well. So it's uh, very much what I would say a, a traditional style with an emphasis on the, that spicy dried fruit and uh, quite a good level of complexity right now. I don't think this is a wine that needs more time or should, should be aged more. It's reached its, its um, plateau of maturity now. And um, yeah, quite uh, quite rounded, good level of drinkability now. Medium weight, but it has a fairly long, and I would also say quite complex aftertaste due to that that spicy dried fruit thing going on. So interesting.